hello friends welcome back today i am going to discuss about programming concepts with risc 5 and using qemu this explains application binary interface concepts of operating system language and processor architecture also qemu simulation for risc 5 in my last blog i discussed about fixed point floating point data types and risc 5 isa from user label perspective we notice that any processor core architecture as implementation of particular isa means that if the instruction set architecture is power architecture then the corresponding processor core for example e5500 is an implementation of that you may take analogy of derived class in c++ in c++ what happens th if there is one class and there is a derived class then derived class will inherit the property of that class and add extra thing into that so similar thing here it inherit the property of that base isa and add other things in that and today i will discuss other privilege modes i provided power architecture reference to understand the new risc 5 i wanted to compare it with the known architecture and let's look into the bigger picture to understand the api so what we compared last time that is the processor specific api and let's look further so what is the difference by the way between api and abi you might have heard of api api is application program interface is a format used for communication between two software modules so for example, if you are using some library in your application, maybe third party library and that library provides you the detail about the return parameter and parameter to be passed. That is prototype of a particular function. So your application can call that particular function of the library and utilize that. So that is the way between application and the library that thing is already shared in advance similarly for ABI it is the format or convention defined at binary level so application binary interface defines the calling convention how that different registers parameters will be passed machine interface operating system interface so this allows a linker to combine separately compiled modules even object file generated by different compilers for a specific platform that's why we are able to use that library or code compiled by a different compiler with our application binary label convention should be followed the ABI is organized as a portable base document and platform specific supplements so there is a base concept of ABI from system 5 ABI which has been adopted by major unix based operating system for example linux based operating system bsd based operating system so elf executable linker format as we discussed earlier is part of this system 5 abi so if your application is incompatible with particular operating system elf abi it will not execute this is one of the reason we cannot execute even an library independent application 
binary in different operating system of same target what does that mean means if one application has everything is static nothing is dynamic depend on the os for example no dynamic loaded library or completely independent application static application even that you try that may not work if it is not following the alf os operating system alf avi so that is the reason we are we cannot execute such application in two operating system of the same target for example let's say x386 windows based complete independent application you cannot execute in the same machine linux based application for that you need emulator like we use here uh, that um, the simulator here we use that so those kind of things are required for uh, you know uh, we use this uh, oracle vm virtual box we use for that and so let's see that system 5 avi here so here the base system avi and then whatever it defines calling convention and the supplement you can see for each the link is given whether it is amd mips or different uh, you know uh, avi these are called the architecture specific supplements so that is in the wiki already so and so that is that architecture specific supplement is basically called psavi that is processor specific binary interface is the supplement of base avi and provides detail about size of abstract types that what we have seen last time in the risk five the size of integer size of you know uh, long those kind of thing word float uh, uh, last time we have seen indianness whether little indian big indian and must be referred for finer detail so if you are working on particular processor you just refer to this particular processor specific binary interface this will have that kind of detail and uh, for example in power architecture we clearly explained last time about uh, five kind of different kind of books for to understand the architecture so those are sufficient and then that is specific core specific detail is sufficient and similarly eabi is embedded abi is actually a family of abis and in one of the sub abis uh, is GNU ABI embedded ABI by GNU so for Linux so you can find many ABI specific options GCC that we will see in future that that is also ABI related thing for embedded uh, like PPC ABI will be power PC and then PPC ABI also may be there for Im embedded uh, related thing that gives the compiler hint that this is for embedded this is for normal so language specific is also there c c plus plus so name mangling or uh, other thing in that so for that reason uh, that even that java bytecode is package you know kind of avi and avi help in inter facing library and application component different versions so java bytecode also support spec this uh, based on that abi only so abi helps in interfacing library and app that i uh, already explained above that mm, this is the reason that uh, different uh, you know versions component different versions if they follow that particular abi then it is possible interfacing okay so for the terminology let's try to understand this five what we will use this already we discuss application binary interface that last time we discuss 
on that uh, you know application level then there will be supervisor binary supervisor level and hypervisor binary interface for future it's under discussion yet and in the hardware some terminology used in other architecture also but let's just refresh it core contains independent instruction fetch unit and might support risk pipe compatible hardware threads so core in terms of risk pipe so it should support that and that is called here uh, hearts that we will use that this terminology while we will be working further on the risk pipe and coprocessor contains the additional architecture state and instruction set extension with limited autonomy so coprocessor may may not be present depending on that feature and similarly accelerator may be either non programmable fixed instruction unit or an autonomous core to achieve a particular task so independent core this is coprocessor is basically not independent it has it is not it has the limited autonomy so this is the independent it can you know any accelerator you provide some job it will work and report you back the status so these three things will be used privilege level so 0 0 uh, will be that based on the two bits it will be 0 0 it 0 is for user or application user level and supervisor level one that last time also we discussed that a user level and supervisor level two is reserved and now machine level m that is the highest and mandatory privilege level so this must be there in risk five based core so implementation may add debug mode also and uh, for op chip debugging or manufacturer uh, test purpose so what can be the use case so mode m simple embedded system and mode m plus u if you add the user level also in that that will be for secure embedded system it will have feature like you know adding that uh, secure related things secure board or other security related features and if you add supervisor level then it becomes POSIX based embedded OS supporting processor so these are three kind of you know uh, possible so mode M is also possible for a small you know embedded system and control and status access there there are some other important things also that we will discuss while working on that but just i am highlighting these things so that later if these come so should not have any confusion so this will be also at user level supervisor level, and machine level uh, same control and status register uh, for each and privilege instruction set architecture that will be machine level and supervisor level we have to discuss earlier we have already discuss the user level application level okay so that also i will discuss and later so uh, because i don't want to mix too much theory let's try to grasp that some of the new things whatever if you found uh, something new here and apart from that some other things are coming uh, here like in linux drop beer Draw beer a small SSS server and client is designed by Matt Johnson for embedded Linux systems. Okay, so this is SSS server and client. This is especially small and designed for embedded Linux system. So we will need this for SSS communication purpose. This things plus BusyBeer Linux. So what happens now busy box and drop beer from that if you simply drop the box box drop you remove this then it will become busy beer. So busy box feature plus 
this drop bed together can create a tiny risk five linux root file system you know we need root file system apart from the kernel for you know complete uh, linux operating system so for that this is made and that targets that uh, uh, virtual board uh, in risk five qmu and here is the copyright link i have given and license information so this busy peer linux so this is nothing but a root file system image that will build based on this software under product tether system so that is like what is tether that depends on host to boot similarly we enable in our mobile tethering so it, it, it depends on like um, uh, once you enable tethering so other can you know it depend on the wi-fi internet on your phone so something like that you can think of so it depends on host to boot may not have complete io it will not have complete io and because uh, these are for tether system are for testing the isa uh, so berkeley other term we will use berkeley bootloader that is the bbl it is the supervisor execution environment so basically it will have that uh, machine level higher highest privileges for t3 risk 5 systems means that will depend on the i use or somewhere else and uh, not with this so it will use the other ios so it is designed to host the risk 5 linux port port so now you have bootloader okay you have uh, uh, basically this um, uh, root file system okay so another another thing risk 5 proxy kernel implement the linux linux this avi subset so sim, uh, i told you like operating system avi so linux avi subset and support a single process it will support single process because it is a basically lightweight uh, kind of kernel it can host statically link risk 5 elf binary that is the actual application actual kernel it can host that and it is designed to support t3 risk 5 implementation and thus handles io related system calls by proxying them to a host computer means if it gets anything related to io it will simply on behalf of kernel it will do the proxy to host computer that's why it is called proxy kernel so this basically uh, linux based small implementation for this particular purpose okay so now host machine runs the front end server so your host machine uh, so let me uh, try to explain this part let me see if i Okay, so um, uh, that is basically just two connections. So you can think of like uh, suppose uh, one side uh, a um, host machine uh, and other side uh, a basically um, uh, you are uh, risk. Okay, so uh, let me give me two minutes and uh, if I can, if can find that. alternatively what I can do mm, I can also give that in simple paint okay that can be also done 
so let's say file new okay drag and I take some box I draw one box another so this assume that this is the lab side is uh, basically our uh, target you know mm, our uh, risk pipe target and this side is our uh, basically that our host and this is the mm, uh, x86 based host ok so this is the our uh, risk pipe ok and this is our x86 this side x86 ok so x86 so between these two uh, we have to uh, you know some communication between these two and uh, we have to let me connect these two some sort of communication between these two you know and uh, if we can use arrows also some sort of communication between these two and uh, we have to you know erase this one ok so this particular interface between host to target and this is the running the server this is running our bbl and uh, you know proxy kernel and kernel so if uh, because this is not having the io support so if anything comes for io so it will send to the host that is the one thing and uh, let me go back to this thing so host machine runs the front end server right side which acts as a bootloader by loading kernel to target memory it also executes system io calls on behalf of proxy kernel okay that and both host and target communicates using the stif okay so now let's see so our host machine basically loading that uh, kernel uh, into that target uh, model so uh, that is one correction i would like to uh, add here and um, that first of all what is needed you need tool chain for risk 5 cross tool chain so that you can mm, generate the risk 5 related binaries in your system after that you install that uh, you know uh, tool chain here so based on this command uh, you know may you make directory first and then git clone and you take the gnu tool chain and then you make that uh, tool chain and then install that and then you will have the risk tools at this location and then you set the path after that you have to install some utilities for the build if it asks for pixman or other utilities so you have to install accordingly and if it is not already there then next is uh, now you have tool so you have to build QMU and again the uh, load this and then configure it according to your target and then build it. So now within these three part your QMU for risk pipe is complete. After that further you may either follow this step or use the ready made binaries so for that first of all bzbr as i told you that um, tiny linux root file system and that you can simply again git clone and make it and then you have to build that linux kernel actual kernel and you again git clone this and in that you 
make that architecture risk five and default configuration and then you again generate the beam linux binary from this now your root file system is with you your kernel with you now you need bootloader and the proxy kernel okay so it this will have the uh, it will also contain this particular um, generated that um, you know payload of that uh, risk pipe uh, that risk and then and no this uh, sorry this uh, should be that vm linux okay that um, payload okay so because it has to load that and host is this and after that if any issue building above three step you can pre-build binaries you can always take that and finally you can use the run that so basically if you have the complete setup so what you need to do to run that you simply change to that particular directory uh, within that we have created this folder we have created this folder and within the build and release we need to go and then we have to run this particular command so it will clearly say this the kernel is bbl mm, and then it will append that root file you know this further command we can see here like uh, it will provide that particular uh, root file system busy for uh, busy wear and all these things you know and uh, then let me show you that uh, how it looks like and uh, So I already executed this earlier and uh, within that we c I can show you that uh, present working directory is that mm, and uh, within that if I run that particular command and uh, I hope it is visible and uh, run it and it will ask for the password because the sudo was used now after that you will see this it is executing and network setting is not yet done so what i need to do blindly i need to you know even if it will keep sending the network related so i will ignore that root then it will pass ask for that uh, password is busy beer i will the busy beer then linux is uh put it on this and here i will show you that uh, if i go to terminal and because that one is executing and uh, if i go to risk 5 this we made and uh, within that let me again try to so uh, here you can see visible linux and uh, tool chain and uh, uh, this is the kernel and this is the proxy kernel and this is the qmu for emulation and this is the our root file system so each folder with complete source code and you know uh, binary inside that for example if we look into this so we will find that complete source code in that and also if we go inside for example this so busybox uh, is there that package is there and uh, drop um, this drop beer is there so based on these two it will create that 
so this is uh, what i wanted to just show you that today um, this um, emulation with this and uh, please subscribe to youtube channel and uh, for that best open source tool technology and you can find this particular link and thanks for your time